Hello, music lovers near and far. I'm Charlotte McLean, coordinator of music programming at Basalt Regional Library. The entire staff invites you to view on Grassroots TV our final virtual concert of the winter entitled Spring for Strings. We are the proud hosts of the Sopras Quartet, a quartet that was formed in 2020, comprised of Artist Year Fellows. They are Emily Acri and Delany Myers, Julia Foran, and behind us, it, the bass is Jeanette Adams. These young people are recent graduates of music schools throughout the United States, and they have pledged to devote an entire academic year to the service of what is entitled the Artist Year AmeriCorps program. The mission of this program is to fill the gap that exists in our nation of art education. We all agree this is a very, very wonderful thing for these young women to devote themselves to. They are assisting teachers here in the Title I programs uh, of the Roaring Fork Valley School District. They are committed to being educators and performers as well. The group has found a lot of pleasure in putting together programs that have been given in schools and throughout the Valley other locations. And those programs are inclusive and accessible to all. Let us give a warm spring welcome to the Sopras Quartet. Thank you. 
so much for tuning in today. We are so grateful to the Basalt Regional Library for having us. We are the Sopras Quartet. The four of us are Artist Year Fellows working in the Royne Fork School District in different schools around the valley. And we're also helping out with the Aspen Music Festival's Beginning Strings program. My name is Julia Foran. I play the viola and I'm working in Carbondale Middle School. My name is Jeanette Adams. I play the double bass and I'm working at Riverview School in Glenwood Springs. My name is Emily Ackery and I am working in Crystal River Elementary School in Carbondale. Hi, my name is Delaney Myers. I play the violin and the viola, and I am working at Glenwood Springs Elementary School. We're so happy to be sharing this music with us today. It's some of our favorite songs. You just heard a Norwegian traditional arranged by the Danish String Quartet, and we have three more pieces in a medley for you to listen to. These are Danish and Swedish traditionals by the same group.
thanks so much for watching today. It's such a pleasure for us to be playing for you, and we're so grateful to be here at the Basalt Public Library. Um, our next piece is something totally different. We'll be playing two movements, the first two movements of Haydn's Opus 20, number no. six, string quartet. And uh, it's pretty well known that Joseph Haydn is considered the father of the string quartet. Um, but these pieces in particular are very special because this whole opus, all six of these quartets, are really pivotal um, to the way composers for the next 200 years will approach writing the string quartet. And in these pieces, Haydn starts to deviate away from uh, having a first violin line and an accompaniment part into having more equality between the voices. So he's really playing with the sonata form and he's changing the thematic development and giving different people uh, important material, which hadn't really been done yet in the string quartet. Um, so here we see that starting to happen. And these are also known as the sun quartets. The opus 20s are the sun quartets and they're just such a joy to play. Um, and as a string player, we can't really ask for anything better than these quartets. A um, Couple quick fun facts here. Um, Goethe called the string quartet as a genre, a conversation between four rational individuals. So whether or not we are always rational, I don't know that that's for me to say, but um, we all really enjoy playing for each other. And um, this opus was also one of Brahms, um, Johannes Brahms' favorite pieces ever written. He actually owned the autograph manuscript. Um, so we will be playing the first two movements of this Haydn Quartet for you. Please enjoy. Thank you very much.
The next piece is The Tennessee River Runs Low by the Secret Sisters. And I first heard this piece at the Superior String Alliance Orchestra Camp in the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And it was arranged by a friend of mine, Maddie Herdeman, who is a cellist and vocalist. And so she arranged this piece for a string quartet and voice. And ever since I saw that, it just really inspired me to want to be able to play and sing with friends. And so when I brought this piece to the group, they were all really excited. We thought it you know, showcased our love of different genres of music and also kind of fulfills a dream of mine. So thank you. And this is Tennessee River Runs Low by the Secret Sisters. So much for joining us today. This is really a collection of some of our favorite things to play together. We have two more short pieces for you. One is specifically near and dear to my heart. Um, this piece, Sleep Away, is composed by my late grandfather, Bob Acri, who was a pianist and composer who made his career in Chicago, Illinois. 
and we love to kind of make a jazz inspired string arrangement of his piece. And last but not least, we are going to play one of the most recorded Mexican songs in the world by musician Consuelo Velasquez, Besame Mucho. And this is also a really fun string arrangement of this song, and it will be a great way to end our day with you. So thanks again, and enjoy.
thank you so much for viewing the Sopras Quartet as they perform this colorful program of music for us today. We go out and lift our voices and praise of spring. Thank you again.